<laughs> so I'm Ollie Vigo uh, and I'm the new tri service safety officer at Tor Point. And I'm Ella Henwood and I'm the new tri service safety officer for Callington. So for me it's, it's massive. I've, um, I've been wanting to do this job for a while. I've been on call as a firefighter for a while at Tolv Adam, um, which is where I heard about the role. Um, and to be able to work for all three emergency services is just an absolute honour for me. Yeah. Yeah, same as Ollie really. As a kid, if you described a dream job, it would be this, but back then it didn't exist. Whereas now, yeah, tri service, you're just kind of in all of the services. I previously worked for the RNLI on the beaches and I loved the response side of things, helping people, talking to the community. And then, yeah, this job came up and I really wanted to do it. We have our most innovative scheme that we've ever created here in Cornwall and we've had the passing out parade for seven individuals that are going to be tri-service safety officers. If you see them out in your communities, in the rural areas, we've got 13 all together. Uh, we really hope that you appreciate the support that they give you from a police, fire and ambulance perspective. They're there to make sure that you're safe and well and you will see them out on the street soon. I think it's a fair to say what, what value don't try service safety officers bring to our service. Um, number one, they're right at the heart of our communities. They're in the most rurally isolated areas where we struggle to recruit our on-call firefighters. But not only that, they're in the communities, uh, really, I would say, connecting communities. They're looking after some of the most vulnerable people, going into their homes, keeping them safe, keeping them well. And they're really just ensuring that those communities they serve are are as vibrant as they can be, as safe as they can be, um, and really as resilient and connected as they can be. A fantastic opportunity to add to the uh, exist existing system that we have in place, but isolated in the, the very rural areas of the county. Uh, these, these individuals will be suited in those locations where they'll be able to find uh, individuals that are uh, additional need, uh, and hopefully prevent then the ambulance service having to attend in the longer term. So they are very much for us in the prevention, but with the ability to respond to those very necessary calls such as cardiac arrests and strokes for us in those very rural areas. This is a first, not just for Cornwall, but nationally. There is nowhere else in the country where there are tri-service officers. This is an initiative born out of Cornwall and Police forces, ambulance services and fire and rescue services from across the country are now talking to us trying to learn how they can replicate what has proved to be a, a, an incredibly successful model which started back in 2014 as a clean sheet of paper and has developed today into the service that we have with 13 of our communities now served by a tri-service safety officer and the ambition for this to extend to at least 31 communities where we have a fire station.